everyone. Welcome to our video presentation on the Innovator Mapping Matrix, a framework that innovators leverage to keep up with the rapidly evolving business landscape. Let's first understand what is innovator mapping. Innovator mapping is when we research in a specific market to assess where we stand in that particular market in comparison to other players. There are many reasons why this assessment is important. First, it helps in distinguishing the set of competitors leading the innovation across different levels of operations. Second, you can evaluate the ongoing innovations of your competitors, like assessing the drivers of their innovation, identifying the emerging trends, and current gaps in the market. This benchmarking will set a standard for your own innovation efforts. Finally, innovator mapping will help in prioritizing your innovation projects resulting in an efficient resource allocation, strategic alignment within project, budget management, and risk management. Now, we've developed a framework inspired by the classic innovation ambition matrix, popularized by an article written in the Harvard Business Review. Here, to understand the competitive landscape, we've studied companies and their strategies to expand from their core capabilities, which will be their existing products and assets for their current market and customers. To take a general example for your understanding and for our fondness of cricket, test cricket can be taken as the core capability. These companies can then extend from their core capabilities into adjacent market with an incremental product, like ODI format in this context. Most innovators adopt this strategy to stay in the game. When the same companies have a set of capabilities at their core, or have ventured into adjacent markets, bringing in new products or assets to cater a completely new market and its customers, they ensure a transformational innovation, like IPL and T10 here. Traditionally, it is advisable to maintain a balance for the innovation portfolio as per the golden ratio provided by the Harvard Business Review, which is 70 to 20 to 10, meaning, all of the resources which will be used for innovation should be allocated in a manner that 70% should be used for innovation at its core level, 20% to adjacent one, and 10% to transformational one. However, for the companies looking to disrupt the market more ambitiously, they may also choose to dedicate more resources for transformational innovation. For example, 30% for core, 40% for adjacent and 30% for transformational, depending entirely on the risk appetite of the user. Innovator mapping matrix has proven to be valuable in various markets and businesses. Let's explore some of these use cases. First is prioritizing innovation projects. The innovator mapping matrix can be used to prioritize innovation aspects by assessing the potential impact of the projects, the resources required, and the likelihood of its success. We can also manage innovation portfolios. This can be done by tracking the progress of projects, identifying risks, and making adjustments as needed. And the third is innovation benchmarking. The result of innovator mapping may help a company to draw a comparison of how it stacks up against the competition in terms of innovation. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.